guess what time it is. That's right. It is an unboxing, but this unboxing is the scent and warmer of the month for August 2019, and I cannot wait. Um, I, <laughs> I really thought that I was going to sneak in a sniff peek of the scent, and as you can see, I did not. So we are gonna experience this together. I waited for you guys. You're welcome. We're friends like that. All right, so let's just get to it. Ready, set, let's go. scent and warmer of the month for August 2019. Is anybody else kind of freaking out a little bit that it's already August? Um, it's crazy to think that this year is going by so quickly, but to be completely and utterly honest with you, I am totally ready for school to start again. <laughs> ah, I'm ready. So uh, I'm actually rather excited that we are already talking about August. Um, okay, let's see lose a finger about it okay um so i'm excited oh, that's a pity. lots of bubbles <laughs> um and it's really 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 hot outside for absolutely everybody i think right now so um per usual since is shipping in the mylar bags so that way they come already um insulated so our wax doesn't melt okay <laughs> you guys know i can't start with that there's no way i could start with that i have to start with the scent okay so like i said in if you guys watched it hopefully you did right everybody yeah okay um <laughs> the scentsy club I get the Scentsy Whiff Box every single month. That's right, Scentsy gives us a Whiff Box. New surprises every single month. And they always include a sample of the upcoming scent of the month. So here you see Harbor's Edge. So obviously I knew, I, I knew what it was called anyway before it already came, but um, people who are getting the Whiff Box for July also are getting this Sniff Peak. So as you can see, it's a nice size sample that they throw out there, but what I've done the last what, one or two with boxes each month, I've actually taken the sample. So before I actually even get my kit as a consultant perk of being able to get this stuff early, but even before for the last like one or two months, like I said, I've actually taken it and I've gone on Instagram and I've done a little sniff review. So literally a sniff peek of what it is. And I plan to do the same thing with this life happened. I just didn't get to it. So it's still sitting here, literally intact. So I didn't cheat. So I'm just as excited as you guys are. To smell Harbor's Edge. Harbor's Edge. Don't get stuck in there. Ooh. I love to get a little whiff. Oh my gosh, that smells fantastic, you guys. Okay, hold up, wait a minute, pause. Okay, Harbor's Edge, Harbor's Edge. It's a pretty blue, it's very nice. Looks like water, ready, set, sniff. Ooh, it kinda smells like, um, it almost smells like cologne. Jackie likes those scents. But there's almost like a lighter hint in there. Is it, I don't want to say fruit because it's not like fruity, but it's almost a clean, clean but cologne smell. That's 
probably the most awful description I've ever given in my life. Okay, let's just go ahead and, and read it and see what's actually in it. But it smells fantastic. Now I'm almost wishing I would have done the sniff peek so I would have an idea. But okay, all right, I digress. Harbor's Edge. Sense of the month, Harbor's Edge, beach grass, flowery raspberry. Oh, that's kind of right with the fruit. And northern oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. Oh, <gasps> beach grass, flowering raspberry, salty musk. I don't know if anybody else just witnessed that, but that actually sounded like fruity cologne to me. I'm counting it as a win. That's going in the W column. It's a win. Win, win, win. I think my nose did it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells amazing. Like, honestly, it smells amazing. I'm really hoping that it's a strong scent throw. Like, when you put it in the warmers, when I say scent throw, that means like it's gonna fill up the room, right? I'm really hoping for that. So, of course, as per usual, you guys can follow along on my Instagram. And I, of course, will be doing, after I get home from the store, and like I said, it's like 118 outside today, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sweat, and I'm gonna come home, put away the groceries, and maybe take a shower, and then I'm gonna put this in. So, it'll, it'll actually go in later today, and I'm gonna warm it and give you my review. Is it filling the room? Is it not? Does it really smell like fruity cologne when it's warming? I don't know, I don't know, but we're gonna find out together. All right, moving on to the next part of the amazing unboxing that is happening this month, you guys. Okay, so the warmer that we have for August 2019 is called Portland. You can see a little picture of it there. Very light. I'm not worried about this breaking because I can see from the picture. Spoiler alert. So it's like that light. Um, I've got the olive bucket warmer. Let me rephrase this. I've got the olive bucket warmer and it's very light. It's a very light metal, um, almost like sheep farmhouse. And it's actually in my living room. So when I saw the picture of this as it being released as the August warmer of the month, I thought, oh my gosh, this one's probably gonna have to stay in my collection because I don't know if you guys have, have seen my Instagram or my other videos, but my home, I, when we moved into this house, I kind of redid a lot of our decor. And so I've kind of gone more farmhouse chic. That's what I'm calling it anyway. I'm probably I'm not an, I'm far from a designer, so don't take that um, as gospel. So, uh, but that's what I call it, is for a chic. Um, and I really think that this one's gonna go with the decor, so I'm actually kind of excited to not only get this to show you guys, but for my own personal collection and in my living room. I think it'll go really nice in the bookshelf. Oh! so tall oh my gosh oh all right i gotta i'm trying to get this out like all in <laughs> okay i think i did it oh I'm i mean it's really light but i don't want to drop it right i don't think it would break but honestly i'm not gonna try and tempt fate so all right where's here it is okay that's why the plastic was just it was messing me up just throwing off my groove man there. Let me make room on the desk. Oh, there's the room spray, by the way. Represent. Okay. I've got styrofoam everywhere. Alrighty. Let's, because we're going to light this baby up, so I've got to, I've got to, I've got to solve the Rubik's Cube puzzle. I think I'm going the right way. Yep. Bingo. Okay. Because we're gonna, we're definitely gonna turn this on. <clears throat> Over there. Okay. The fan's going. I, I, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if you hear it, but that's why things are like flying everywhere. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at this top, you guys. Look at that. 
Do you see how it has like the rust staining effect on it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love the detail. This looks like a real, this looks like a real lighthouse. Okay, all right, I'm getting excited. Okay, uh, glass dish, glass dish. Remember, all of our dishes now have a number. You see that one in there? It says four, four, you see that? So four is the recommended number of cubes or max amount, as I would like to call it. Oh, I remember now. I was like, what the heck? Why is this light bulb so weird? That's because this is what blew my mind with this whole warmer look, you guys. Normally, in a big old warmer like this, we would have at least like a 20 or 25 watt bulb. Heads up, we just have the 15 watt bulb in this warmer. That is awesome. And it's probably because this guy is just so sinking light. I don't know if it's iron or metal. I don't know. Galvanized steel? That sounds proper. <laughs> uh, let me plug that or twist that in. And let's take a look at this warmer. All right. Well, let's take a look. And before I put that dish in, let's just do it like this. So I don't drop anything. Okay, so here it is in all of its glory. Look at that. Look at that. That's tall, people. That is tall. I like it. Do you guys think that it will go with like the rustic farm house decor chic thing that I'm going for? So there's our Scentsy logo on the back. You know, I always like to look for that. Um, obviously the lid to our lighthouse. Boom. Our dish goes right there. And then the lighthouse, the top, just sits right on top our, our lighthouse. So there we go, lighting the way home, Portland. Oh, it's so cute. It's just so cute. I think this is really, this is like really a cute decor piece. Like this is something, and I am one of those people, I go finding, right? So I go to those stores. And when I go in those stores, I always try and look for unique pieces that like I can put in not only my, like my office bookshelf, but in the living room bookshelf or on the tables, things like that. So I look for decor pieces like that. And this reminds me of something like I would see that I'd be like, oh, that might look really cute on the coffee table, right? I'm liking it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Before I light it up, let's go ahead and let's see the official officialness of it all. Okay. <clears throat> Warmer of the month. Portland. 15 watt bulb. It is 10 inches tall, by the way, for those of you measuring at home. 10 inches tall. Okay, reminiscent of the most photographed lighthouse in the world, the Portland Warmer takes you to a peaceful marine shoreline. I didn't know it was the most photographed lighthouse. Okay, uh, featuring handcrafted galvanized steel. Put another one in the wind column. Cut out, wind, cut out windows and a misty glow. It alludes to a steady beacon of hope in the distance. I like that. A beacon of hope. That is super cute. Super sick and cute. All right, let's, all right. Let's look at it. Actually, put it in. Let's do it. Okay, my friends. It is time. The most photographed warmer. Or, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I crack this okay. up. The, the most photographed lighthouse. That's lighthouse. Oh, my mess. The most photographed lighthouse in the world, Portland. Ready, set. It's so pretty. I know it's bright in here because it's daytime, but look at that, you guys. Let's see if I can tip this up a little. Could you see in there? So you can see all those little windows illuminate. And I know the camera isn't doing it justice, but it really does. It's like bouncing off of the galvanized steel on the inside. So it lets out. I know it just looks like light there, but it really lets out more of like an amber 
light, like a glow, really, from the inside out. So it's really, really pretty. I love how the top is so open for two reasons. One, because I think it looks awesome like that. For two, though, because whenever we have a closed, <laughs> don't break it, Jackie. Whenever we have a closed warmer, um, sometimes those closed warmers are so closed that you only have like a few little vent holes in the top that you may not get as much scent being released until you maybe take the top off. And, and for me personally, when I'm warming, especially warmers that are decor pieces, I like to keep them together, right? Because that's the whole point. Like I said, I use them for decor pieces. So it's a decor piece, but it also lets out the scent. And so I like to be able to keep the lid on, especially when it's warming. Um, and this one's gonna be perfect because see, it has all of this area to just throw that scent right out. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I really think this is gonna be pretty. So um, of course, follow along on, on the gram and you guys will be able to see this one all lit up in in person, live on social media, uh, however you wanna look at it that way. But that's gonna be, it's gonna be really cute. Okay, so um, where's Harper's Edge? Okay, here we go. August, what a scent to go with this warmer. So Portland is the warmer, Harper's Edge is the scent. Again, both of these are going to be available starting August 1st. If you are on my sample mailing list, you will be getting a felt sample. If you're not, or if you're questioning if you are, contact me. I'm more than happy to make sure that one gets out your way. But starting August 1st, both of, both of these will be available. And of course, both of these are also on sale, 10% off for the entire month they're featured, which means in August, this Portland warmer is only $40.50. And then, of course, we've got our bar. It's available in Scent Circle, and it's available in Room Spray. So Harbor's Edge will be warming that. You guys will get um, a full review on that. We'll take looks at the warmer all lit up in its glory because it's the most photographed lighthouse, right? So we'll take a look at it that way. We'll look at it in real life, real social media life and get a better idea of it so you guys can see if this is something that's gonna match your decor or maybe somebody that you know that is like, oh my gosh, lighthouses are my jam. I must have this warmer. So think of those people that you give this to. This is a perfect gift. So here we go. Until next time, you guys know the drill. Peace, love, happiness. Bye.